Now we are going to test the drag and drop feature from files. First, we need to create a new HTML file. And here we need to add the libraries for the drag and drop feature. So we need to move to the documentation page. And here we are going to find the, the script from, from the drag and drop uh, feature. We're going to paste it here into my code. We just need to modify the version we are using. In this case, version 1. Okay, now we are going to add, as always, a personal script to control this HTML file. And we are going to add a div where we are going to drag and drop our files. Then we are going to add a style to actually be able to see our drag and drop a rectangle where, where we are going to be able to actually drag and drop our files. So I'm going to create my style sheet and define some style to it. We're going to define some width, some height, and some background color, for example. So we are going to be able to see like a gray rectangle uh, to drag and drop our files. Now we're ready to move to the JavaScript part. So I'm going to create my file. And that's it. First, I will add a window open listener. So this JavaScript will load once the document has been already loaded. Then I will add a constant where I'm going to define my API key. Remember that this API key will be found in our developer portal. So I'm going to copy it and paste it into my code. Okay, now we are going to add some configurations to this drag and drop feature because we want to explain how does it works. So I'm going to add some simple configuration like just accept uh, image files. Now we are going to create a new object to initialize our drag and drop feature. We just need to add our API key and we need to add the section where the drag and drop will be shown. In this case, the div I define into my HTML page. I'm going to define it by, by its class. And finally add the configuration that we made before. Finally, we're going to add some callback functions in order to see what is going on. I'm going to add on progress, so I will be able to see what is going on once the file starts uploading. Then I will copy this and paste it here and change the function we are going to use. I'm going to also see what is going on once the file has been already finished. And finally, if there is some kind of error. Okay, and our JavaScript is already done. Okay, so now we're going to open our browser and check our app working. I'm going to read my link and I can see here my, re my rectangle where I can actually drag and drop our files. So I'm going to drag and drop one file. For example, I'm going to open an image and I'm going to drag it and drop it here. Okay, so now let's check our console to see what is going on. I'm going to open my console and here we can see the functions we defined. We can see what is going on, the information of what is going on once the handle is executed. I can see that my file is been already uploaded. So 
This is how the drag and drop filter works. Thank you. Thank you.